All right, so this is a video on how to install an extension uh, so that you can export an STL from SketchUp. Um, so first you'll have to go to the internet and you'll uh, type in the website name requiredfun.com. It's uh, my old class website. Uh, it's just a digital design website. Uh, once you're there, you're going to navigate to the 3D printing section. It's that on the left hand side. Scroll all the way to the bottom and there's a SketchUp STL 2.1.2 Ruby file uh, and you need to click the arrow to download that. It's going to go to your downloads folder whether you're on Windows or Mac. Uh, then you need to navigate back to SketchUp and the newer version of SketchUp has these little Ruby icons uh, so you're going to click on the one that says extension manager and you're going to install extension. Um, once you do that you'll find it in your downloads folder there it is uh, and then you're able to install it. Uh, it should pop up uh, now it shows up in this list here uh, right there it's okay that it's unsigned uh, you just want to make sure that you're able to see it and that it's installed and then you're going to double check and make sure that you can now export uh, not save as, sorry this is a mix up here um, you're gonna file export STL um, and when you're able to do that you'll see a drop down you want to make sure you choose millimeters uh, and in the file format you're gonna leave it binary or choose binary if it's not chosen um, and then you're able to export your file. Once you're able to do that, you can make a file in SketchUp that your 3D printer can read, uh, which is great. So you're gonna save your file somewhere you can find it. And uh, that's how you do that. So there it is on my desktop somewhere. <coughs> um, good idea is to sort of inspect your file um, look at the preview and just make sure that it's solid looking uh, if there's any discoloration or transparent portions of the